Uh, for our first set, we're going to be having the Jendo versus Milk Tea. I Jeff. Huh? Jeff. Jeff. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Jeff's teammate was Milk, Milk Tea, so I got them confused. But we're starting in PS2. Obviously, a neutral starter stage. Uh, we got uh, Nagendo's Wolf has been uh, trying to come up lately. He's been putting in the work. Um, we got Krom. So in terms of like neutral, you could say that Krom kind of does well because he just has a sword. But Wolf's aerials is actually pretty big for what they do. So we're going to see how each of the players are going to kind of like play in their own style. Uh, Wolf is going to be like, you know, just capture landings and just use his amazing airspeed to kind of like get into Krom's range. While uh, Krom also has airspeed himself, his air acceleration is pretty shitty. So even like, let's say he moves in pretty fast, he can't really move backwards as fast as he can. Like, so like, if he if he uh, gets like, uh, what's that word? Committed to a certain direction of airspeed, he has to go, he has to go that, that direction. They can't really reverse the airspeed unless they jump. That is correct. Yeah. So, um, but Wolf uh, is uh, has the blessing of having both good airspeed and good air acceleration. So he's able to bob and weave and a lot more than Krom. So really, I think it comes down to whoever can really bait and punish the other player better. Uh, right now, you just saw that that fairy kind of beat up. Uh, yeah, uh, Krom's fair just beating out Wolf's fair. Even though his his hand sticks out a lot and his hitbox is big, it's still well, and then uh, it's back to even again. Wolf's S smash, he steps back, and I feel like people don't realize how good that move, like moves are. But smash attacks that when you step back, because like it really messes up people's spacing. Because also sometimes like the hit box, the hurt box comes out of the Z axis. So and right there, he did it fair, and then he stepped back, did a force smash, and got the stock for it. Dude, I find it very cool when people use uh, hurt box shifting like that. Yeah, like with Pichu, like, actually, his force smash is really good at doing that. So it's kind of a universal thing. Well, I mean, certain characters just have it. Like for instance, if you, I don't know if you know this, uh, clouds. Uh, when you do clouds force smash, his his uh, hurt box actually gets comes out as the axis for like two frames. So yes. You get you can actually dodge certain projectiles. So certain characters have better better like um, hurt box movement, but in terms of that, like you know. His is bread and butter. Just moves back. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I got too antsy. I wanted to get back to stage too early. You gotta learn how to recover with Krom if you want to use him. He's a he's very good on the stage, but he has a very hard time recovering. Okay. Four to recover the landing. Not that bad. Okay, I like that. Then I was playing a little bit more more behind, like a little bit more like defensive because he has a stock lead, which. Super good in this game. If you learn how to like uh, can oh uh down tilt just beating Oof. Yeah, um I believe he got he got hit hit out of his uh, side beat, right? Down tilt? Or was it up B? I wasn't looking. I'm yeah. doing a little bit of stream housekeeping right now before uh, I can commentate. Um, but yeah, um uh Wolf is very susceptible to two framing because of the way his his side B and his up B work, so you saw that he actually got his down tilt onto the um, recovery, and that caused him to he had no jump, so that caused him, caused him to lose his stock. Right now, it's, it just looks like it's very even. It's just both players just you know throwing up moves to see who's gonna come in first. Uh, Nair acting as a, as a <laughs> face coverage from the top, also hitting Wolf from the top. Getting a ton of brass tacks right now. Last hits for everyone. Out of my way. Ooh, that, it missed time to the laser, but. That was good. Like he should have just kept timing just a little bit more better, so we could hit him again out of his up B. Oh my God, these guys are out for blood right yeah, now. Yeah, that's, that's uh, they gotta kill. kill. Forward smash, up smash. Yeah, crop. So what Wolf, are you gonna do? Excuse me. Wolf's force smash is just actually pretty safe because the way. Ooh, ooh, what covering a, the landing. What a call out. Yeah. What so. a call out. You know, when in doubt, you see them landing, just throw out a smash attack. What are they gonna do? Air dodge? Yes. They're safe. <laughs> You're gonna be safe mostly because of the way this game works with smash attacks. Uh. Yeah, that, that was a good space bear, yeah. He knew he, knew he was going to probably try to like get greedy and do a side B back onto the stage. <laughs> yeah, and there's that force match I was just talking about. Wait, can he actually go back to that second? Oh, they moved the tablet. I can't I, I can't do frame-by-frame frame analysis. Damn oh, it. yeah. So, Devin took the uh, things away. Devin, why would you do this for? Why? Yeah. How dare he use it to help run Scuffed World Tour better? Yeah, like I don't understand. This is this is this is your venue. What are Come you on, doing, Devin? What the hell? I want to do frame by frame analysis. What the hell, Devin? Uh oh, uh oh, we need faces. Not yet. I'm being joined by a. Uh, oh my God, that's right? not the game. <laughs> so we got a stage of uh, Kalos. Uh, good stage for Wolf actually. So. Um, I think, I guess maybe uh, Jeff wanted to like use the stages to extend his combos. 
Ooh, caught him jumping out of his shield with, and caught him with a back air. Wolf's back air is actually surprisingly dumb. <laughs> like, I, I don't think people realize how good his move is. It comes up frame 14, it's huge, and it auto cancels on frame 19. I remember when it was frame 4 in Brawl. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> but either way, it's, it's still held on to his goodness because it, like, it auto cancels so fast when the move comes out. So you can just do it on somebody's shield and then dash away because it's how fast it auto cancels. Oh my god. Ooh. F smash to catch Jeff, holding in, dropping down from that platform, trying to start some aggression, but Ninjendo uh, shutting that down real quick and continuing the aggression on his own side, keeping things moving right along. Like I said, like his force smash is safe. He said that like, he force smashed his shield, jab, dashed away, and Krom jabbed, but it just didn't hit him. Uh, obviously, you know, dropping out of shield takes a lot of frames, so then that jab is also like, what, like frame 17 or 16? Yeah, and I mean, right now, Nintendo is just continuing the aggression. He is not really showing any fear for any of Jeff's options. It's just been like, Ooh. all right, it's always my turn. I'm going to keep pressing buttons. All right, finally, though, Jeff firing back a little bit, a well-spaced F-Tilt, putting Nintendo in a potential edge guard situation, but a great uh, wall jump, very Rivals-esque <laughs> sort of uh, recovery from Nintendo. Oh, my God, that, that was that was like off by one frame. Oh! Oh, it gets He's sent dead. outward. He's dead, yeah. Yo, rivals? Oh, right. God. <laughs> He's getting all these parries. He just knows what he's going to do. Yep, Jeff now on his last stock. Well, Nintendo finally losing his first here in this game two. So we're going to see if Jeff can start putting some momentum back in his favor, but putting himself back into the corner, not really doing himself any favors thus far. Taking a moment to compose himself on the other you side. See you, see, you see how fast his back airs are? Like he's saying, yeah. do back air and dash away. Like that move was really, really good. Like one of the best, one of the mm. like top five back airs in the game, or top seven, or whatever you want to say. But going for kind of a hopeful down air there, where it really feels like counter may have been the play there for Jeff to put Nintendo in a bad spot. But you know the percent is starting to rack up a little bit for Jeff. That was uh, oh such God. a clean spacing for Nintendo <laughs> to get the. Uh, the ledge after the side B. I was going to say, like, at one point you saw uh, Jeff was just anti airing um, the general the entire time at the right Ooh. side of the. Oh my god, they're bringing it back to last stock. All right, we got a game. So, yeah, like, that's that's one good way to deal with Wolf is just if you have good anti airs, like, just use them against him because, you know, he has limbs. He doesn't have really like, a projectile or, or this one in hitboxes. So, that's it. Ooh, another back air catching Jeff coming down from the platform. That is going to be Ninjendo taking things 2 0. Hey, look, I have an idea. John Numbers, I want you to hear this too. Cloud's back air, but with Wolves f bare frame data. No thanks. That would be insane. No, also, uh, it's like I gotta, I gotta make myself live. First off, no, but secondly, uh, <laughs> Devin, what has happened to the, uh, the wide shot? Devin, please help. Devin, what happened to the wide shot? He's in the chat right now. Oh, he is. <laughs> Where's the chat? I don't see chat. We do not have chat. No access, chat, unfortunately. unfortunately. Devin, why'd you take the tablets for? I want to do frame by frame analysis. Why'd you do this, Devin? I'm gonna see if I can do something about that camera. I'm trying to be a good businessman. Just come back to Zeno. Well, anyway, there you guys are. Hi. Hi. I'm here now. Hi. <laughs> I'm back. Well, I'm sort of back. Well, either way, good set from them. Sorry about the wide shot not being there. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got 